Hello, this is Cindy, and welcome to my Jelly Journey blooper reel. I guess that's what I'm going to call it. Originally, these two videos were 35 minutes in length total, and I've cut it down. And believe me, you don't want to watch all 35 minutes of bloopers. And I have just kind of, I've edited it, I've annotated it, and, um, just enjoy doing, watching what not to do with a jelly plate. But most of my paints are craft paints, except for these, which are my husband's old. These are some old ones that he got. Um, this is Reeves. And he got these as a, I don't know, a gift at one point. And he just gave them to me because he said, I'm not ever going to use them again. Now, you notice with my brayering, I'm being very careful to, and I, I have to remember to brayer off. I always forget to brayer off. So I'm trying to remember that. Um, I've discovered a lighter touch is better than a heavier touch. And I will probably still get too many. And I want it to go this way. Yeah. I'm going to put that there. So this particular mask is one that I got, and I'm, this is a technique that I tried before with no success. So I'm trying it again because I think I've got a different way of doing it. Now what I don't want is all of the, the ink in between. I want, I'm putting my mask on because I want to keep the purple that I just put down, but I don't want anything else. So I'm going to put this in here, and if I've done this right, I pull up, eh, I've done it sort of right, trying it again, I'm trying to pull up all of my purple paint, which I'm doing a little bit. Like I said, learning experiences. I Do I know what I'm doing? Nope. Not really. I'm just watching videos and trying to do what they're doing. Okay, so I've pulled that up a little bit. Now I want some, and I am, I am not, this is lemon yellow, and I'm going to put a little lemon yellow up here. I've tried doing this a couple different ways. I'll, I'll dig out and show you my failures in a minute. Okay, light-handed over the... Okay. Being light-handed. But see, I still end up with paint on my brayer. I don't know if that's supposed to be the way it's supposed to be or not. And I have another mask. I am putting a sun up here. This is a very, very, very elementary design. There is nothing here that is, um, let's put it this way, there is no jelly artist out there who has anything to fear from me. Okay, I'm not quite picking up all of that as much as I would like, so let me try it again. I'm not getting as clean a pull as I'd like, but one more time. We'll see if we can get it and see if we can get any more off. There we go. There we go. Now we're cooking. I think I just need to find it. Okay, notice I'm leaving my masks on. Okay, the next thing I want to do, and I'm going to use uh, a little bit. This time I am, this is Blue Lake. I don't know. That was lemon yellow, Blue Lake, and then just purple. I'm going to use a little bit of blue here. And then I want to add a little bit of white to it. But I don't have any white in the tubes. So this is a little, you're going to see that this is a, a Deco Art Americana acrylic paint. It's just craft paint. And you're going to see that it's a lot more fluid. See how, I don't know if you could see if I was on that or not, but... It was definitely, i take my brayer off sheet and put it over here because I've got other sheets. And I want to mix this 
a little bit more so I can get a little bit lighter blue than what was there. What I have discovered is I go off of my plate a lot. So I, you know, I could wipe it up, I suppose. But I really haven't been very careful about that. Now you see how I'm getting lines in there? It's because I'm not really very good with the brayer yet. It takes practice and I'm still getting lines. Now, I think if I had a smaller brayer, I might be able to get into those, or maybe I just need more paint. Trying to get down into those cracks a little bit. All right, brayer off. Don't forget to brayer off. Okay, I'm going to leave that paint for a minute, although it's, see, I'm going to lose it. This is where I end up with a lot of paint. I lose a lot of paint when I put it on here because then it dries. And I can do this and, and get some of it up. But it because it's acrylic or a, and a, a ceramic tile, it's not a jelly plate. This is This is not really working very well like a jelly plate so I'm just I'm just cleaning it up a little bit trying to put do something else with that paint all right here we go I want to do this on a piece of this is this is just plain copy paper and I'm going to peel off oh damn it see this is uh, yeah, see now my it's on here, but it is not on. I'm gonna put that over there. Oh shit, sorry. And now I now have paint all over me because I'm just a mess. All right, so I'll put that over there. Okay, this did not work at all like I wanted it to. All right, let's do the pull anyway and at least take off that much. I was really hoping that I could... I, those of you who have been doing this for a long time were laughing. You were saying, I know what's going to happen. So I ended up with this. I do like how the, how the yellow's up there. I do like the silhouette. Okay, let's try this with a wet strength tissue. Um, those of you who are longtime jelly printers, if you know if the wet strength tissue has, it seems to have two sides. I don't know if it matters which side I use. Okay, that's not coming off, so I'm going to add a little bit of my, what is this? Oh, that's a little purple lilac. What the heck? add a little purple. I haven't used this particular paint yet. A lot of these are leftover paints from my husband. So you never know exactly what you're going to get. This is really liquidy. Okay. That's like not even paint. Let's try that again. I think this has separated. It might not be any good. So this video might not see the light of day. Or I could just show you what it is like to just goof it up. Put that down there. Um, this is really wet, so I want to get it off my brayer. Let's try to take some of that off of there. You know, they can't all be golden, but I'd like just, you know, one of them to be golden. Okay, this paint may be 
uh, for the birds. This pink may be for the birds. I'm just going to use my cloth and wipe that right off of there. We're not even going to continue with that because that's not, that's just making a mess. Okay, let's go ahead and clean this off while we're at it. And we'll go for take two. Okay, I think I'm trying to be too complicated with things. So we're just going to start with something a little bit easier. I do have some paint on here from other stuff. So this is called Viridian Hue. It's pretty, ah, it's a pretty dark color. I thought it was going to be a little bit lighter based on that. It is not. So let's add a little white to it. Come on. All right, I'm going to mix that in and see what we can come up with. Okay, that Verdian Hue is obviously a thicker paint. I know those of you who know how to brayer are saying to me, what are you doing? Too heavy handed. Slow down, girl. Go lighter, light touch, light touch, light touch. Okay. Um, I have here a stencil I haven't used. Um, did I use this? Yes, I have used it once before, but I used it with, I think, Distress Oxide ink. It is stuck in the thing. This is from Stamperia. I really like it. It's such a pretty one. So I'm going to put that down. I'm going to put a little bit of paper over the top of it and see what kind of a print I can pull. This is a media stencil. Um, I don't know. Is I'll, I'll hold that up. I don't know if that's the number on it or not, but it's from Stamperia, and it's made for mixed media. So let's see what we get. Okay. Just a faint outline there. I'm going to do it again with a piece of wet strength tissue. I now have paint on my thumb and try to get it in all of those little holes. I've been watching um, the live feed from PM Artist Studios and watching P do a lot of these. Um, and of course I watch Carrie and I watch a couple of others as well. Okay, that's actually a much nicer print. I like that. I'll put that over there so you can see it. Okay, so I think I'm gonna stick with the wet strength tissue. I'm gonna put that down there to dry. Pull that off of there and I'm going to, real quick, I know a lot of people don't wash their stencils. I don't know if I need to or not, but at this point I do. It's a compulsion maybe. The water in it and then just puts his stamps in that to soak until he can get them clean. Come on. Shoot. Okay, it's going to wrinkle. I'm going to have a wrinkle. Ah, oh, well. It will be what it will be. It's 
pretty if it comes up. Put it over here where you can see it. Okay. All right, I have paint left on there. I'm just going to do with my white and no other color. So that was my blooper reel. Uh, pardon my wet hair, by the way. I am filming this very early in the morning. And if you are enjoying this video, please make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit like to let YouTube know that you like them, and click the bell for notifications so you know when the next video comes out. There's my spiel. Till later, this is Cindy signing off.